Hey everyone, Kevin here and welcome back to my channel. So earlier this year, I made a video about how coworkers tend to go silent when you leave, and I realized that there was an addendum to that discussion that all job seekers need to hear. The company that laid you off isn't thinking about you anymore. They have forgotten about you and moved on, and so should you. But that's no easy task, believe me. I made this realization while reflecting the other day on my own long stint of unemployment and all the feelings one naturally has during such uncertain times. And in the wake of a layoff, you're going to have a lot of those complex feelings and will naturally dwell on the past a bit because of them. Things like, was it my fault? Did I do something that put me in this position? Could I get my job back if things get better? Will I find work that I love again? You get the idea. But you need to understand that just like how I mentioned coworkers go silent and kind of forget about you, so will the company as a whole. When I got laid off, crews repeatedly told me they would bring me back if they could get the funding, because they only laid me off due to pressures from above rather than any underperformance. On the contrary, I was one of the highest performers in the entire instructional design department. As the economy and job market got worse, though, and the likelihood of me finding a new role diminished, I hung on to that hope because I legitimately enjoyed working there. This is even as those coworkers I enjoyed working with had either also been laid off or weren't really answering me anymore. Then, one day, I was visiting my grandparents and my phone rang. They wanted to talk about bringing me back as promised, and that conversation went very well. But, after a couple of months of back and forth, I heard that wasn't happening. It was at that moment I realized I had been trying to move forward, but was also stuck in the past at the same time. The company had finally forgotten about me, albeit later than most will, since the majority of places will stop thinking of you almost immediately. But I share that story to show the overall point that you need to move on, just as the company has as well. But as anyone would be, I was angry after being laid off and then led on by them for months on end. As the fog of frustration cleared, though, there was a sense of liberation and newfound interest in doing something new. I was worried about finances every day, clearly, but I also found a new sense of determination about what I wanted to be doing. Ironically, I realized that the stuff I wanted to be doing, such as these kinds of videos, wasn't going to happen at my last job anyway. The anger I had was getting me nowhere, and I needed to let that go in order to grow even when knowing that a new job wasn't likely to happen at that point. Don't look at moving forward as a defeat. Look at it as something new and a new opportunity. Some might say that the best revenge on your former employer is to be happy in a new job, but the reality is that they don't care if you found a new role anyway because they've moved on. New quarterly reports, projects, and meetings immediately avert their eyes from you. They will remain busy, and so should you. And no, this won't happen overnight. No one wants to leave a position that they enjoy or which paid them well. But that's not always up to you. Business is business, and sometimes due to financial and governmental pressures, businesses fail or need to lay off workers. I love my old job, and would have stayed there even longer had the layoff not happened. I learned a lot in my just over a year there and had grown so much as a person and professional. I had a great coworker relationship and I kept thinking about them long after I left, even though they weren't thinking about me. Living in the past won't help you achieve your goals of the future. Companies lay people off every single day. Yes, it's worse now than usual, but it still rings true. It hurts, but it's just business to them. Remember, as I made another video on a while ago, coworkers aren't your family. That belief creates an artificial power imbalance, an unrealistic expectation over how people treat one another at that company. This is why calling your business a family is a mistake. Just like using layoffs as an integral business strategy is a mistake too. But we have no control over that. All we do have is control over how we want to move forward. I'm happy now in a new role that more closely aligns with that and with what I want to do creatively and gives me the long-term stability that I really need right now. Different jobs appeal to you at different times in your life. 
and you need to figure out what you want following a layoff, rather than dwelling on what your old employer felt you lacked that made them let you go. They've already forgotten about you anyway, and you need to do the same. It's sad, but the truth often is. But that's all for now, so thanks for listening. Please don't forget to hit like and subscribe to see more of my awesome content. Until then, I will see you in the next video.